welcome back friends uh, we're doing a video on mango appreciation uh, how to appreciate a perfect mango mango for us is the king of fruits so we wanted to uh, do a quick video on how to eat how to appreciate how to choose a perfect mango before that just a background uh, because we are so passionate about mangoes and different varieties and different tastes of mangoes we decided to give uh, one of our tastiest mangoes to a friend who was just uh, who grew up eating store bought mangoes uh, i think they even don't grow in florida they come irradiated either from mexico or other country so um just wanted to give a surprise to the friend and um we asked the friend a couple hours later how did you like it and he said well i mixed the mango with a couple of other fruits in my smoothie and i ate the smoothie so uh, we felt okay at least he ate the mango but again did you really taste how the mango was you don't do you don't mix many different fruits you miss the taste of the mango when you do that so we wanted to um, make a video on that as well as to how to taste the perfect mango. We want to thank our friend uh, Patrick uh, Makus for providing us this unique and tasty um, mango. It's the Super Glen Mango. Uh, we have tasted Glen from everywhere around and this is a really um, special uh, Glen Mango. And we wait a whole year to get this mango and he has been giving us year after year and we're very very grateful for him. Thank you. You start appreciating a mango from the site itself. How does it look like? What color it has? Does it look green or does it look colorful? Not all the mangoes change color when they ripen. Look at this mango. This is a sugar loaf mango very ripe but still green except for slightly discoloration or slightly pale coloration up here but otherwise looks very green so it almost looks like unripe mango but it is a ripe mango compared to this mango which is uh, for us it's a super glen mango look at how many different colors how beautiful it looks it has orange red a little bit of green vermilion colors ugly berry gives a pink blush so different mangoes they have different colors so first thing to do is look at the mango and see what how the coloration is you also look at the shape of the mango not all have the same shape you look at this mango it's called lemon jest it has a long shape like this versus this one it's kind of an oval uh, ovoid shape look at this one it's a venus mango it's almost like a ball like a baseball size mango uh, they have different shapes they come in different shapes and sizes size as well some mangoes are very big this is an this is edgar mango a little bigger i'll show you a much bigger size mango this is called candy corn mango much bigger in size than this super glen another thing you look at it is whether it has any blemishes or not see there is something here these blemishes mostly are just skin deep if at most there is a little um, honey pocket inside nothing bad about it sometimes the blemish starts here and then goes around and this fruit starts to rot so have to be very careful about blemishes not always that a certain fruit with blemish will be bad inside uh, certain fruit uh, mangoes like valkyrie mango had a lot of black blemishes outside but inside it was clean and very very tasty so some of the things that you need to um, check um, before you grab the mango is just the appearance of it um, another thing is sometimes the mangoes are picked too early and they do ripen but they don't ripen well they start to have a puckering of the skin we don't have those mangoes here but we could show you that sometimes uh, they change color and they start to pucker in the skin and that is not that tells you that the mango was picked immature it did not mature in the tree and it could not be ripened well off of tree 
very important thing is many people think like with apples or other fruits mango ripens on the tree but it is not so with all the varieties of mangoes certain varieties of mango have to be picked slightly mature but not ripened yet and has they have to be ripened indoors that way they get the peak uh, taste of that certain mango where some mangoes they are already ready to eat when they are picked one thing to do is they check as at this stalk look at this stalk here it looks brown so this stalk that connects the mango to the to the panicle is actually if it's brown that means it's ready already another thing is so if this is the stalk you move the mango like this you take it to the 90 degrees and it snaps out that means it's already ready you take it gently do not push too much don't try to snap it out by yourself just give a certain um, support and let the mango go up and if it comes out from the branch that means it's ready uh, sometimes the color already changes the soldiers start to look full up here these are all different indications that the mango is ready to pick one thing very important we just watched um, a very popular uh, fruits um, website down here in miami and they were they had a, a video on how to ripen mango and what they said was after picking just put the mango inside a bag paper bag in room temperature well many mangoes do not do good ripening off of tree in room temperature because room temperature here in florida most people have 70 degrees 71 72 degrees fahrenheit and that's not uh, in our experience how mangoes ripen well in our experience it has to be 84 85 degrees and that's why we put them wrapped in newspaper or any paper inside a certain box with ventilation put holes inside any um, packaging box and in the garage that way it will not be in the ac and it will ripen very well do check them every day sometimes they ripen fast in one day with overnight temperatures that are over 80 they ripen very fast i do check them every day and once they start to uh, give a little bit that means i can take them in and within 24 hours you can after they ripen already they are giving and there is a good aroma to the mango you can actually put them in the freeze not all the mangoes will have that beautiful mango uh, smell to them when they ripen like this is a perfect tasting mango lemon zest uh, if you cut it open it will have sweetness and citrus uh, at its peak but i do not smell anything overpowering this is uh super glen and um if i take my it was kept in the fridge so a little bit of a smell will be reduced but this is i already have a floral uh, smell to it it's very particular with this variety like glen super glen um, with both they have this specific um, thing that the whole room gets filled with this aroma of many tropical fruits but it doesn't happen to all the mango varieties and so there are other indications to know when the mango is ripe so now uh, after you know you have seen the mango you have smelled it you have touched it and it gives now is the time that you check whether the mango is ripe or not I usually start with cutting the top because this portion you won't be eating you can eat it but um, many people are sensitive to ursiol a certain chemical compound that's found in mangoes that's also found in poison ivies so um, if there is a little bit of sap there still and this area sometimes you eat it you might get um, blisters around the mouth so be careful about that i usually cut it along the seed i usually do like this and then open it like this and the first thing i do when after i cut open is look at it whether there are any places where there is uneven ripening sometimes they have what we call jelly um, jelly seed where the flesh starts to become very soft mushy and tasteless and that's that's not a good uh, ripened mango this one here i do not see any jelly seed i do see that there is a certain area that's more ripe 
than here so even within the mango there are certain areas which are tasting different compared to other areas because they ripen uh, differently after you look at it you smell it again this variety has this floral smell that you will really appreciate it not all mangoes have such floral uh, tropical fruit mango smell sometimes they do not have any smell but they taste really great you also see that there are no strings there are no fibers old varieties used to have a lot of strings and fibers that get into your teeth they are newer varieties that do not have any fiber in the flesh sometimes they have some fiber close to the seed but otherwise there is absolutely no fiber another thing i wanted to tell is sometimes there are areas which look pale in comparison to the rest we have found that those areas kind of taste uh, chalky when you try them so that that's already indicates just by looking at it that that area of the mango will be tasting a little bit chalky and people sometimes don't like that chalky taste another thing is the skin now before we cut we have to look at the skin whether the skin is thin or whether it's thick usually thick skin means there can be some fiber but it also means that they are easy to transport thin skin however does not transport that well because it gets bruises easily and it gets these blemishes so um, and there are some skins that are bitter tasting and some skins are completely edible they are as sweet as the mango itself so it's good to actually peel off the skin if you are trying that mango variety for the first time now you smell again very good smell when you eat you want to appreciate because mango many times has combination of different tropical fruits it's uh, not just sweet it sometimes has a combination of peach apricot banana pineapple coconut and there is always a uh, underlying flavor of mango so you want to just appreciate what other flavors there are that's why i highly discourage putting mango in a smoothie that has all different fruits because it in itself it has you appreciate the texture whether it's jello jelly texture or it, whether it is um, chalky texture or whether it melts in your mouth so these are the things you have you look in this, this particular mango melts and uh, it doesn't have a buttery texture it has more of a melting texture also will appreciate whether there is any fiber or not and i did not after you do that you actually now can eat the skin i mean eat the flesh close to the skin as you go close to the skin you will you will have some bitterness taste which is completely non objectionable in this particular variety some varieties have very bitter skin and those you will appreciate with time that you want to peel the skin off to enjoy the mango very important thing after you eat a slice off you want to wait whether there is a lingering taste of something some taste in your mouth and usually the best tasting mangoes leave a certain lingering taste in the mouth to go for another slice to eat it again so that's very important um, combined with the bricks which is the sweetness the different undertones like peach and apricot or citrus undertone you also want to see if there is an aftertaste after you taste the man mango what taste lingers in your mouth in this case i the apricot and the peach taste lingers sometimes some other mangoes have coconut taste lingering in the mouth so that's another thing that you appreciate while uh, you try a perfect mango not all the mangoes are uh, for the weak of heart there are mangoes that have spicy flavor and uh, some of the mangoes from India are very spicy and people love that those spicy but not everyone and some mangoes have a certain resinous flavor 
which are turpins that's why turpentine flavor and um, some people love that flavor while others want to go for more like a candy flavor or a citrus flavor and do not like that spicy flavor so um, it's okay we are different different people have different tastes and that's why mango is such a uh, unique fruit that it gives opportunity for different people to enjoy their taste After you cut on both sides of the seed, then you are left with this portion, the seed and the side portion. Some people like to just remove this, but not always the skin comes out easily. What I do is I actually remove the side with a little portion of the flesh from both the sides. If, if possible, sometimes the seed is too large and you can't get much. And then I leave the seed with some flesh and enjoy this portion. If you appreciate the mango you love the mango you want to scrape as much as flesh from the skin um, our dog likes the mango so much she leaves this completely off she she licks everything just the skin is left sometimes eats the skin as well after you do this then you are left with the seed and there is so much flesh around the seed you don't want to toss it off you don't want to leave anything um, you want to squeeze every bit of it. Sometimes the flavor is different by the skin, by the seed. Sometimes it's more ripe by the seed. And overripeness sometimes can give a certain fermented um, taste to it. This one has much better taste up in the seed than below wanted to show you that this one is completely fiberless by the seed as well so you can keep on licking the seed until very fine uh, small fibers are there those that never go into your teeth so this is a perfect mango where there are no even fibers by the seed and you want to leak the last bit of it and i know it looks uh, a little bad that sometimes you have uh, mango but i like to eat it like i'm a child enjoying the world it's i do not like to be uh, cut into small pieces and eat it with a fork i like to touch the mango i like to put the mango here i like to uh, enjoy it like uh, like i'm a child eating getting my best gift and even if it is that's fine with me i don't think i'll be eating mangoes in a restaurant i eat it with my friends and family and this is how i eat and this is how i like it so um, this is an example of a really good mango when you just when you want to eat and eat and you're not satisfied with just one mango that means that you already have the good mango in your hand uh, the color the texture the smell the inside of it with no fiber or any jelly seed appearance with no areas of musky taste or chalky taste and a mango that leaves a good uh, feeling of goodness in your mind and uh, heart it's it's that's how a mango a good mango should be um, it, it also it depends what you grew up eating you kind of associate those tastes if you grow up eating apricot the mango will take you back to your apricot days if you grow up eating mangoes from a certain area um, like india or nepal where i am i go back to those days childhood days it it takes me back in the memory lane so it's a it's a it's not just a fruit if you really fell, fall in love with this uh, it becomes your passion